whatever belief you have about spirituality, it is just a diagram or an image in your mind. I believe that these are things of global importance. I believe our lack of knowing in these areas as humanity is getting us into big trouble. Certainly it's obvious enough how religion gets us in, into trouble. It gets us fighting over the ideas in our head as if the ideas were the reality that we, we are supposing to venerate. That leads to war and all kinds of things. That's obvious enough. And whether you're, you consider yourself an emissary of divine light, a Muslim, a Catholic, a Jew, or a Buddhist, I believe we all need to take back our spirituality, to own it for ourselves, and know it deeply for ourselves. Because the coin of the realm when it comes to spirituality is actually not ideas, and it's not belief. Even though ideas and belief can be useful, the coin of the realm in spirituality is knowing and experience. Actual knowing. And you can't know something through somebody else or through a religious faith or a spiritual path. Ultimately, you can only know something through your own consciousness. Is that not true? I do suspect that in virtually every spiritual practice and religion around the world, there is a teaching that says, don't take your own ideas so seriously, and don't take your interpretation of this teaching or this practice so seriously, because if you do, it's ultimately a trip of ego and personality. I'm not, looking away to, I'm not looking to rob sacred things from people. And there is a sacredness to a belief because if it's connecting you with something that's sacred, that belief becomes sacred. And I think there, there ought to actually be a spirit of respect for people's images, if you will, for that reason. And people's beliefs and ideas. But somewhere in that respect and honor, there also has to be a disrespect for our tendency as human beings to worship the idea and image as if it were the thing. And I do believe that if you were a Muslim and you adopted that attitude, and if I was a Christian and I adopted that attitude, we would find ourselves worshiping in common the one real God the one real reality of being that's within all people, that we would touch the basis for our oneness as humanity and stop be, being so ignorantly divided by what? Our images. We're not divided by the reality that's behind the images. And if our worship was of the reality, we would be brought together in love so easily because that one reality is one after all. It is constantly inviting us together as humankind. It's constantly inviting us together as human beings into a knowing of oneness, into a sharing of oneness.